There are two main mechanisms for which a hormone can affect a target cell. The first is by a non-steroid action. This mechanism is employed by an amino acid hormone or a peptide hormone. These hormones cannot freely cross a membrane on a target cell, so it first acts by binding a cell surface receptor. There is then an intracellular signaling cascade that occurs in order for the desired effect to take place. There are proteins on the intracellular side of the target cell that are associated with the receptor. Most often, this involves what's called a G protein. This G protein is found next to an enzyme that converts ATP to a molecule called cyclic AMP, or CAMP. This is something that makes this mechanism unique. Cyclic AMP is called a second messenger because it signals a cascade of events that eventually change the enzymatic activity in a cell to cause the target cell response. Examples of hormones that use the cyclic AMP second messenger system include ACTH, calcitonin, epinephrine, glucagon, parathyroid hormone, and ADH. The second mechanism is the steroid action. Because lipid derivative or steroid hormones are lipophilic, they can freely move through the membrane and into the cell. From there, they can either bind to a receptor within the cell, or they can move freely into the nucleus where the hormone or hormone complex causes a change in gene activity. This then increases transcription and mRNA production, which then leads to an increase in protein production within the cell. Examples of hormones that exert effects via steroid hormone mechanisms are testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, aldosterone, and calcitriol.